I'm James Johnson, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. Today I want to talk a little bit about the N-Space Ord scheme, which came about in Niagara 4.4 version. And this is essentially uh, either a shorthand reference to uh, map to a station's virtual gateway under a supervisor, or it's also like a substitute kind of redirection for the station uh, space or scheme as well. And I'll show you a couple of examples in PX and navigation files where those might be useful. Uh, in this example, I'm using a supervisor uh, named Building One Soup, and then it's connected to several JSES. And there are a couple graphics in the supervisor. I have this campus level graphic here and then underneath the campus there's a building level graphic which provides some hyperlinks to floors in the buildings. So really just those main uh, building graphics and the campus graphic are located in the supervisor. The remaining floor graphics and equipment graphics are all located in the J stations. And I'm using virtual on demand PX views in the supervisor to be able to just simply click and view those virtual PX files from the JSES without having to build PX views in the supervisor. In order to do that, I might want to make references from these graphics in the supervisor to the virtual space down in the JSE. And you can do that fairly easily uh, by expanding the drivers, going under the Niagara network. In this case, I have a device folder for the building. This is where this PX view is assigned. And then there's JSEs underneath of that uh, device folder. And each JSE has its virtual gateway, and you can expand that virtual gateway and drill down further into the remote ORDs in the station. So here's the BACnet network, and then here's floor one. So I could simply drag this out onto a PX view, and it would resolve that virtual ORD for me uh, to that component, or maybe to uh, one of these air handlers that's underneath the floor in the remote station. So taking a look at the at the PX view itself here, I have uh, two floor one buttons here in the PX view, and they're using equivalent uh, ORDs, but the, the ORDs are slightly different. And the bottom button here, uh, actually I don't remember which one is which at this point, but uh, I think that's the bottom button there is this uh, full slot path. So you can see uh, that it's using station colon, slot drivers Niagara network, that building one device folder, and then the building one floor one JACE, and the virtual gateway. The remaining ORD after the pipe symbol is that virtual ORD in the remote station. The other button is using uh, this ORD scheme, which is N space colon and the station name. It still has the pipe and then the virtual ORD in the remote station, but simply using N space colon and the station name replaces this whole long string of, of the slot path, including the Niagara network and device folders and the station name and the virtual gateway. So this can be a lot easier to enter and to manage. It's less, you know, less to read, a shorter ORD and easier to deal with. Both of these ORDs will function the same way. When I click on uh, this lower ORD, it takes me to the remote uh, station to the virtual PX view. You can see the slot path here in the URL locator. It's using the full uh, connection to the supervisor through the Niagara network to the virtual gateway and down to the remote station. If I click the other link, this will uh, go to the same view but the ORD looks a lot simpler. It's still connected to the supervisor, but it uses the end space colon station name syntax instead of the full station scheme with the, the slot path through the virtual gateway. So it's a lot easier to navigate and to enter those ORDs, particularly if you're building something manually. Now, another place that might be useful to use the end space ORD scheme is actually in the graphics in the remote station. In this case, I'm looking at the home page in, in the JSE. And there are two buttons here, uh, which both serve the same purpose, but just for demonstration. Uh, the bottom button, you can look at the hyperlink property here. It's using the station ORD scheme in the JACE. So it's pointing to a master uh, alarm console under the alarm service in the JACE using the station ORD scheme. The second button here is essentially doing the same thing, but the hyperlink in this case is using the N space ORD scheme instead of station colon. So N space colon without a station name is essentially the same as station colon. It resolves the local station that the graphic is being uh, presented from. Just to demonstrate, I can click either button, it takes me to the actual alarm console view in the JACE station. 
uh, that used the station scheme and the top button used the end space scheme. So really the only difference here is seeing end space colon instead of station colon in the URL if I look at it. If I go back and take a look at this graphic in the supervisor again through the virtual gateway, if I click the bottom button which is using the station board scheme, it takes me to the property sheet view on the alarm console in the remote station. So I'm connected to the web supervisor going through the station ORD path. Now this is using the handle ORD instead of the slot path ORD. So again, it's an abbreviated shorter ORD. It's hard to know what that actually is though, where the in space colon station name is a lot more clear as to what the ORD is. But this is taking me to that remote property sheet view because like most virtual components, there's no workbench views associated with those virtual components through that virtual ORD scheme. Now, if I click the other button, which is using the end space uh, ORD scheme, what you'll notice is that uh, I'm connected to the supervisor, and instead of the station ORD scheme, it's using the end space ORD scheme, and it's taking me to the master console in the supervisor. So, because end space colon when it's viewed as that PX view in the supervisor's context, then takes me to the root of the supervisor station instead of going to the virtual gateway down into the J station. So it's a little obfuscation or a little redirect when I'm doing some of these virtual graphics that you might find useful. The other thing that you might find useful is, is navigation files. So similar to building the PX files, when we have a navigation file, we can use the NSpace ORD scheme for the hyperlinks as well. You can see I already have with the floor hyperlink here in the nav file is already using the NSpace ORD scheme. It's much shorter, more concise, easier to read than looking at this full slot path that takes me down to the virtual gateway in the J station. So I can easily edit these ORDs by selecting everything from station all the way to the virtual gateway right before the pipe symbol and I can replace that with n space colon bldg1 f1 in this case which is the station name and again it's much easier uh, to probably uh, deal with as far as editing much easier to read shorter more concise easier to uh, easier to deal with when you're modifying nav files and things as well so if you're not using system database in hierarchies but you're building a lot of graphics and navigation files in the supervisor you want to leverage the virtual ORDs uh, or virtual on-demand px views then i would suggest taking a look at the n space ORD scheme thanks for taking the time to watch the video and stay tuned for more